What's going on? Tim from Halo ITSM and today we'll be running through the organization basics. Let's take a look. As soon as you get into your system, go down to configuration and then up to organization. So organization is the actual kind of core top level parent of the system. There is the ability to also have multi-tenancy. So if you have international offices, offices elsewhere, which have their own separate setups and different teams and different organizational structures underneath those, you'll be able to reflect that in the system. If you go to configuration, you'll be able to add another one in. I want to use the default one we have currently. In here, you'll be able to put in a separate logo if you wanted to, to change for the, um, the end user portal. So the end user portal will be updated with the correct logo. From here, you can see a chart showing you the departments and the teams that fall underneath this organization here. From here, if you go to settings, you can also choose what ticket types are available, what knowledge base articles are available, so you can refine down per region Let's say you want to do this for language purposes. So if you're if you have a an office in the UK or America or Australia, English speaking, you can have an English knowledge base available. Alternatively, if you have a Spanish office and you have a Spanish knowledge base underneath that, you could have Spanish uh, literature for that knowledge base under the separate organisation. Jumping back. Each organization can have their own departments also. So if you have different setups per office, you'll be able to reflect that into the system. Jumping back to details, you can set up the basic information, the URL, the portal URL, you'll be able to edit as well. Jumping back to the homepage, that's all I wanted to cover today. Feel free to have a look at other guides we have on Halo ITSM. If you want to visit us, you can see us at haloitsm.com.